The White House on Wednesday released more than 400 letters, books, documents and reports seized during the 2011 raid in Pakistan that killed Osama bin Laden. The documents range from books about the global war on terror to a list of French shipping companies, but the most interesting and potentially intelligence-rich information comes in the more than 100 letters the White House released, translations in both English and Arabic. Some of the letters were letters from bin Laden to his deputies around the world, planning strategies, trying to figure out ways forward in Somalia and Yemen, trying to recalibrate their strategies. At one point, they seemed caught off guard by the 2010 and 2011 Arab Spring. They were trying to figure out how to take advantage of that unrest in the Middle East and how to kind of seize momentum there. But there was also some very dark letters, one letter in particular from bin Laden to the American people that has not been released previously, but it remarked on the high suicide rate of U.S. service members as a way of saying that Al-Qaeda was winning the war on terror, not the U.S., and telling Americans to try to back down. U.S. intelligence officials are scrubbing more letters, hundreds and hundreds of additional documents that could be released later this summer. But as of right now, there's plenty of information for Americans to pour through as they try to make sense of what happened in the 2011 attack that killed bin Laden, the killing of bin Laden, but also more and more about the war on terror.